So let's get rolling. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Mm, should probably heal. I should probably level up backslash. Honestly, getting that cooldown down. Getting that, bringing that cooldown down is uh, is important. I think. Slit Edge is really good too because that reduced defense. <clears throat> uh, I think. Those talent gauge, 15%. Oh, wow. Side hit slow. Hit break, side hit slow. Effect time, 5 seconds. I wonder if the break is also 5 seconds. Because <clears throat> that would make Air Slash way better than Stream Edge. Like, yeah, Stream Edge is, is hitting multiple enemies, and that's nice, but... I mean, the damage is exactly the same. The cooldown is less on Air Slash. The time is longer. And you get slow on top of it. Oh, it's maxed out now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using Wild Down forever because it's a topple effect. <clears throat> so let's just level this up. And then uh, Hammer Beat for the... It's an AoE threat. Like, that, that can't be beat, you know? AoE threat. War Swing is insane. Uh, Sword Drive is nice, but it's got a really long cooldown, so... As far as these goes, auto attack and mad taunt area of effect are that discards defense to prioritize attack. I don't know if I really want him to do that. I want him to draw aggro. aggro or that greatly raises aggro drawn attention. Yes, that's the one. Available in R is active at attack reduces enemy strength. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Glarus, what's up, dude? Heal round. Recover in there. Sorry, if he's a party, hello. That's a long cooldown, though. Gotta bring those down. Check the skill tree. I learned my XP bonus. Nice. Okay, so let's go to tension bonus. I think tension is like when you get fired up or whatever. Agility up. I start a battle with higher level enemies. Oh, that's kind of meh. Here's this weight of equipment. Gem crafting. Back attack damage up. Eh, oh, eh. Chain link up effect. I mean, I actually like this one better. First off, I could, I could pair those with Ryan or whatever, but like... Mostly it's just that, like, if I get aggro, I'll get healed. Everything else just seems kind of meh. I can get XP bonus. Nice. I wonder if it's, like... Okay, so it's not just any of them. It's only certain ones that they can get. Medium equip, heal bonus. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Healing effect, 25%? Yeah, and she almost got that. Remote art plus, agility up, cooldown reduced. Oh man. Heavy equip, okay, tension, medium equip plus, physical protect. Cooldown off, reduces the duration of cool off. Oh man, these are all really good. I think I'm gonna go with this. Just all cooldown on healing arts reduced by 15%, plus all the heal bonuses and stuff, agility, yeah. And then we'll go to the left skill tree. Yeah, how's everybody's weekend? How's everybody doing? Got any plans?
coding, I mean, that's your job. I guess it's not terrible, right? This this stuff, ether up plus thirty. Yeah, that's um. How do I? Uh, how do I? Ah, oh, we go. Remove all gems. Oh, that's equipped on somebody. Ether up three, but I would want to want that on her. Yes, I'll take that off of him. I don't even know why he has it. It's armor, but. Clear appearance. There we go. That's what I wanted. I want to. I want to. I want to actually wear the armor that I'm wearing minus helmet. I think. I think that's what I want to do. I don't want to. I don't want to use like too many um, like uh, glamours because the reason is because um, there's a lot of changed equipment and, and polished up effects and stuff in this game, and I want to see them all and. I didn't know how to clear my glamour at first, so I was just kind of stuck with it. Uh, but I don't like the—I know I don't like the helmets. You know what? I'll—I'll—I'll—I'll I'll, I'll, I'll keep it off for now. Okay, now she's getting that. Now she's getting the treatment. That's fine. That's actually not that bad. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'll keep it off for now until I get ugly helmets, just because I want to see all of the new stuff. You're planning on touching hard mode on FF7R, but you came up with a stream. I mean, you can do both. It's, it's a thing you can do. All right, check the, ch check the quest log where we left off last night. Thieving monsters. Close in the turkey neck quarters in the bionis leg. Search the area around the ether deposit. Defeat three maker bonnets. Bionis leg, bionis leg. During a thunderstorm. Bionis upper leg. Frogs and Bionis leg. Bionis leg. Well, they, they should they should all be, like, all the quests should be appearing on the map then, right? They should all be showing. Okay, there's that one. Maybe it's just nighttime. Oh, there's the others. Okay, I see, I see. All right, let's go. Uh, let's, let's sweep across the map then. Let's go south first. I mean, if you already played a Hazel Duff, you know, like, it's just, it's the same game. It's just better looking and, and a little more quality of life, you know? You have no TV and only one monitor where your PC and PS4 are plugged in, and I'm thinking of saving second monitor. Oh. Uh, two monitor setups are legit, dude. I would, I would do it. If your video card can handle two monitors, you should absolutely have two monitors. Honestly, in today's, like, media age, you know, with Twitch streams and YouTube and playing your games on your PC now because you can connect your consoles straight up to your monitors now. Uh, two monitors is basically like having a TV and a monitor next to each other. I, I highly recommend. If you can, do three, but uh, oh god! But three is, if your video card is gonna need to uh, really be beefy in order to support three monitors and not have issue, uh, but I would really highly recommend Oh, it's like a graveyard. Uh, three, two monitors. Most video cards support it. You, you can even just, like, not have a second monitor, right? You can just get a monitor and use it as a TV next to your I computer. Can feel the power. You know what I mean? Like, the monitor that I'm playing on a monitor right now. I'm playing on a computer monitor right now, but I'm using it as a TV because it basically is a TV because everything takes HDMI input, but it's like a small, like 24 inch or that's like three feet from me. So I don't need a giant ass monitor. It's right here on my PC setup, right? 
So it's just right there. Uh, and it, it wouldn't have it any other way, honestly. It's really convenient. It, it's, it's basically the same thing as playing on a TV. I mean, it is the same thing as playing on a TV. And it's a gaming monitor, so the refresh rate is very fast, which means I'm getting a better picture anyway. So, like, if you're if you were to use a monitor as your gaming like TV, you'd actually end up getting a better image out of it or better like quality out of it anyway, because it's a gaming monitor and not a TV, which doesn't focus on that kind of stuff. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. Okay. Oh, it was one and a half stars before because of the launcher issues. Pe people had been view bomb via uh, raiding bombing it because of the, the crashing issues and stuff. I imagine not being able to play a game and then giving it a one star review be because of that. I can't play this game one star. Okay, that doesn't tell you how good the game is. I mean, yeah, there's launcher issues and it like messes with you and there's issues with like. Uh, it deleting itself or having to reinstall itself and everything. I mean, yeah, there are issues with the launcher, not the freaking game, though. It's so stupid. And then there's other, yeah, then there's other people that are trying to counter by using five star reviews. Like, it's really good. You guys just gotta play it. None of that is good. Review a freaking game. Just <sighs> everybody wants things their way, and if they don't get everything they want, then just to hell to everybody else. And it's really aggravating. It's so childish. Oh, is that thunder? I think I need to be here during the day. Well, more questies. Blowing wisp fluid. I think I need to kill the elementals for that. It's gonna be rough. I remember them being like Me. FF12 elementals. Speak to Edwin. Ewan McGregor. We gotta speak to him. How's it going? I'm not, you want me to deliver sushi to your house? How's it going? I mean, that's oddly specific that you want me to deliver it, and you want sushi, and you want it delivered. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm pretty far from the Netherlands. I think I swim to there. <clears throat> oh, is a comment on me, you getting things? Yeah, 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 for sure. No, Cinny, yeah, you're right. Yeah, people feel like, I want this and I want, it's golden goose egg syndrome. Pe so many people today have this entitled golden goose egg syndrome. You know, I want a golden goose egg and I want it now. Okay, Violet. I'll need to chill. You don't think launch issues like this should be ignored? They are right to be called out, but it's not a useful review of the game. So here's the problem. There are other forums for doing that kind of thing than review bombing it. You go to the forums, you, you, you address their Twitter, that kind of stuff. Like you don't just review a bomb a game because you're, you're, you're crippling it. You're crippling a game when you do that. You're causing them significant, like, developer stress, I guess you could say. Like, people are gonna not play that game because of that. And where, where they would play it and be okay with the launcher issues, now they're gonna look at the one-star rating and just, like, ignore it. 
know, that's the problem, is you're, is you're hurting the, the, like, the financial integrity of that game's development, you know what I mean? And that's bullshit. You're basically stealing. Talk about Fantasy Star Online too. Well, you're not really stealing because you're not actually getting it, but you're definitely burning a lot of their property, I guess you could say, is more accurate. It's more like vandalism than it is stealing. Obviously, as a, as a consumer, you have the right to review a game and, and, and you know give your feedback and everything. It's just really bullshit. It's just shitty tactics, you know? Oh god, we aggroed the fish! Oh god! I can, I can officially swim faster than a giant fish. Just so we're clear. Yes, that, that, is, that is the clean example of it. That's the clean argument of, I'm just giving my opinion, which is why it's not illegal, obviously. It's still bullshit, underhanded garbage. Because you're, you're crippling a game's, like, like, like development in, in community and sales because, you know, it had issues with things that were not even the game. Like, that might not, it might not even be PSO's fault that the launcher sucks. It could be Microsoft Store issues. Which most people have claimed that it is Microsoft's four issues. So you're fucking over Sega because Microsoft is having issues. You know what I mean? It's stupid, it's bullshit, it's dumb, and it's fucked up. And it gives a complete, uh, in incorrect, uh, like, example of what the game actually is and how good it is. Because people are gonna think the game just sucks. Not because, not that the launcher's messed up, they're just gonna see one star and be like, wow, this game is garbage, and then move on. It's really dumb. It's very dumb, it's not the way to solve your problem, it's not the way to get what you want, it's not a way to do anything other than bitch and moan like a whiny little fucking child. So, how's everybody doing? <laughs> I mean, it's not a perfect game, yeah. The game itself is fine, though. It's a, it's a four-star game, I'd give it that, yeah. If I, were, if I were a rating person, I'd give my own ratings, you know, on games. You guys know that, but I don't really do, like, in-app review kind of thing. All right, let's check. I, I'm, I'm a little worried, because the uh, initially, all the quests were being tracked and it was awesome, but now I'm not seeing any quest tracking on the map anymore. And I wonder if, like, there's something I need to do in the log or something, like... I know I can track one, but I can't track multiple. See, this like, Bionis leg stuff, and then I, I, I hit track on it, and then I go to the area map, and then suddenly it shows up. Watch, it'll show up. But I want... Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe it's upper leg stuff. Maybe it's upper leg stuff. Or maybe I haven't opened up the area. Yeah, you know what? No, the, I, I offered you alternatives. I, I told you that there were alternatives, which is forums and social media and Twitter and stuff. There are forums for that kind of thing. There is a place to soapbox, and it is not on review bombing. It's the same mentality as review bombing like the 7 remake because it's not exactly the same has literally nothing to do with the game, and that's why it's the same. Because it isn't about the game's integrity or value or, or, or success or whatever. I think giving it a three star instead of four is still unfair. Hold on. My nose, man. First off, because 
9 out of 10 people that I've talked to have said it's a Microsoft Store thing, not a launcher thing, not a PSO thing. So it has nothing to do with the game. And, and two, uh, it actually has nothing to do with the game. Like, the game itself can play just fine without, you know, like, when you get it running, it's fine. Is and you play it, and it's about? fine, and it's a fun game. This is it, all so right? you're, you're, again, the giving an road, incorrect example of what the six. game is like. But there's no sign of Juju. If my vision was right, he should be around here somewhere. I'm sure he would have gone along this road. I just hope nothing's happened to him yet. Any chance he went up that way? It's not safe around here. I doubt Juju would go off the beaten track if he could avoid it. Got it. We'll search along the road. <laughs> it's not turn based 3 out of 10. I mean, like, I get it, Psycho Sheep. I'm with you. Like, those, those issues need to be addressed. I 100% agree. But review bombing is just not the answer, you know? Everyone has a giant sword? Yes. This is the Final Fantasy VII Remake, guys. These reviews are inherently subjective. It would be nice if everyone held themselves to extremely high standards, but it's kind of a place of subjective reviews experience belongs. No, not necessarily. I mean, yes, you're right, but that's not what people are, are doing there. They're review bombing it because Microsoft's launcher bullshit store garbage is ruining it. Like, that's the problem. It has nothing to do with PSO, which hurts Sega, not, not Microsoft. Microsoft doesn't care. And also, like, it's not a game issue. It's a launcher issue. It's the same thing as, like, people going, wow, this app doesn't work on my phone, zero out of ten stars. And it's literally because, like, they don't have enough memory or anything on their phone or something stupid. But, like, if you didn't get to play the game, you don't get to review it, you know? Like, that, that's not how reviews work. It's a review of a game is a review of the game, not the launcher. If the game was a buggy and it crashed all the time, that'd be a different story. But that's not the case here, right? Now it's like, you could complain about Bobby Lag. That's a PSO issue. That's part of the game, you know? I, uh, wasn't really looking. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Apparently, there's a workaround to get the Lobby Lag to go away, too, which is pretty neat. That's a lot of mech on. Just chilling on the Bionis. I would include it in my review, I'd be like, just be warned, there are issues with this, but this has nothing to do with the game, it has to do with the Microsoft Store, you should do this, that, or the other, and be warned about it. Like, it's, it should be a warning, but not a, not a review bombing. Bam, 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 bam. That's Colony 6, I believe. And then there's another freaking entire huge area of the Bionis leg, I love this game! It's like you just got done exploring this huge open world, and you're like, oh, look, that was only half of it. Okay. I also dislike how the game is like, we should avoid searching on side roads. We should we should only look on the, on the main road, and then it's literally right there is where you need to go. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> So you said, they said, look at the main road. I, I mean, one star is completely unjustified. Like, there's so few games that are actually one star games. And, and anything, any review that says a game is one star, uh, without like proper justification, is just a fucking child as well, you know? Black Nyak? Is that like the casino stuff? I haven't really messed around with that too much. Like, there are definitely games that are one star, but, you know, people people giving new games one star just because it's not, like, classic turn-based RPG or some nonsense. Just, I don't like this company. One star. 
Well, I mean, no one's gonna like this company ever, and they're never gonna get a chance to redeem themselves with that attitude. Blackjack by dealer is cat monster. Oh, okay. Chances are it cheats, yeah. Chances are it's it's coded to win X amount of times, like a percentage of times, no matter what. That's kind of how video game gambling works, especially in games like that. <laughs> The, the pro so what the problem is, Psycho Sheep, is that the game deletes itself or pretends to delete itself and then has to be re-downloaded and then doesn't actually delete itself, so it takes up loads of, like, t you know, 60 gigs of memory or whatever. And then sometimes it does actually delete itself and, like, it, it's just got a lot of wonky, weird things that are soaking up people's memory. But, like, that's only, like, 10% of the people that are playing that have this issue, you know? So most people are able to play just fine and have no problems. But they're also working on a fix, like they've, they've said on social media. So, but this has nothing to do with the actual game in question. It has to do with Microsoft Store being a complete pile. Oh yeah, uh, pro tip, do not fall down there. Don't do it. Don't, 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 oh, they're only level 16. Don't, don't, don't do it. Trust me, don't. I, I, when I first played this game, I went down there, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a maze, and oh, I bet that's where all the quests are that I need to do. That's why I can't see them on the map. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay, we gotta go back because there's two like nests. Yeah, it's it's really just like it's a form of entitlement, Psycho Sheep. What's going on here? It's like. I want my golden goose egg and I want it now, you know, and it's 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 important to be upset about something not working But they're just they're just they just want a scapegoat That's all they just want a scapegoat They just want to freaking blame somebody and they don't care who it is without actually really looking into the, the details of the situation or who's to blame or what the issue is or anything it's just golden goose egg syndrome man But yes, I mean, like I said, like, I, I, I agree with you that, like, people need to have an outlet on where to complain about something, but there's a right way to do it and a right place to do it. And review bombing a game because of Microsoft's launcher shit? It just, it just hurts Sega. And Microsoft's like a multi-freaking bajillion de billion company. Like, they don't, they don't give two shits about the success of PSO2. You know? They don't care. That is a that is a quest thingy. That is definitely a quest thingy. Things popped up on the map. Things popped up on the map! Oh, baby. There's map stuff. All right, let's do some questing. As a European, there's extra steps for playing? Really? Huh. Trainer Harlem. All right, let's go. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill your pets before I kill you. Oh, look at these cool pets you have. I'm gonna kill them. Watch. You. I'm gonna make you watch them die before I murder you. Oh. 
Thank you for 22 months, dude. Thank you, man. Affinity coin? Affinity coin. Oh, I could do that one. That's cool. I don't remember having a list of heart to hearts that you can actually do that you found. Interesting. I'll have to go back and do the heart to heart. I notice you, Solar Axis. What's up? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, I forgot about this. You have to actually push the button to put it in there. You have to like actually assign one. You lose one to do it, but then you then you clear it. You get the category complete. Agility up. I forgot about that. Oh, baby. Okay, let's go. Because of you never having played this, I know most of the music and can recognize it immediately. Music from Smash? Oh, okay. Oh, Strength 2. Oh, wow. Tefra Cave is almost finished. I should go back in there and see if I can't finish it up. The cool thing about this game uh, is that things don't aggro if you're high enough a level. So you can just go in there and just collect dots until you get it. Does it tell you what it is, though? No. Brown Butterfly, Gold Caterpillar. Rumble Stonefly. Clarity Moss. Confusion Ivy. Kneecap Rock. Leaf Mystery. Oh shit, we finished the bonus leg. Nice, dude. Some of these little items are actually rare. So like like one like one or two on the on the um on the list will be rare. Ain't no worries, Drake. I barely played last night, man. I wanted to do stuff with people, but like I just got on. I you I don't know if you saw me at the end of stream, but but I was just <sighs> Man, I'm just wiped. Like energy wise, and I don't know why. Today I feel a lot better actually. Well I I, I woke up feeling worse. Uh, and I was only, I almost called stream today, but I was like, nah, let's, let's get in there, you know? But I do feel a little bit better right now. Let, we'll see how I, how I end up by the end of the night, though. And then you get a special reward. White cl cluster. And then these ones are, like, around the world. All over the world, there are these, uh, seven rare... Things. We're almost done. I kind of want to complete the Collectopedia, to be honest. Affinity. There we go. Affinity chart. Oh, yeah. You guys want to see the affinity chart? This is just two colonies. And, and then it'll get way more complicated. 
Like, each each one has like time active, status, uh, what you can trade, where they're at, their age, race. Uh, and, and this is just one colony, right? And I haven't even talked to everybody, so I don't know all the links between everybody. And uh, the more you trade with them, the more you build up affinity. So you can build up an affinity with literally everyone. And this is this is uh, the the settlement, right? But I mean, there's like there's a bunch more areas, and that's not even that's not even a full affinity thing. But then it's like you can click in there, and <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's just what I found. But then there's the party affinity, and. boy oh boy oh boy so what's this affinity coin i got then I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure a tie in blackjack is still a loss. Especially if you bust, like if you bust first, yeah, for sure. The thing is, is that the dealer draws last, so you're always going to bust before the dealer does. We win! Who else wants some? Let's keep on going like this, guys. I would, I would trust Mozzie for sure. He, he gambles for a living. Also, uh, a lot of my family are like dealers and casinos. Uh, like, 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 uh, my uncle's actually a high roller dealer in one of the casinos here. For a lot of games. Uh oh, I activated the story. Juju! Uh... Symbols appeared on the Monado. Can I save her? Of course you can. Its tentacles could come out from under the ground at any second. One false move and you're done for. I've seen the same Wait for my order. Ryan, you got my back? Of course. Leave it to me. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. That's right. And the light swirling around us. That's the Monado and all. Shala, let's move. God, the cutscenes are so damn cinematic, dude. It's so rare to get a it's it's so rare to have a game with cutscenes that like are actually cinematic, you know? 
like actual movement and action and stuff going on and i freaking love that about both this and xenoblade chronicles 2 like they don't just sit there standing with an idle animation going oh bad things are happening and then like jump to the side and be like oh i dodged it like this is like a fucking movie dude it's so cool i love it and xenoblade chronicles 2 is the same way it's so good shulk speed A lot of you won, but you still lost. Uh, I'll explain that because I think it, I think that's an unfair thing for people to complain about. I, I'm not. I, I understand. Like, I understand the frustration of it. You know. But after this whole cutscene, I think I'll explain why I think there's a reason. Like, there's a good reason it's for up that. There. Let's go after it. Right. Yeah, I can explain the battle system. It's really quite simple, actually. I can do that because we're in the middle of a fight, and it's not as distracting. So the battle system is is pretty simple. You you automatically attack once you initiate battle. You auto attack, right? As long as you're within range. And there's aggro and threat that's generated. So whoever they attack is based off of a threat. And then I just go through my abilities and select what I want. And that's it. That's really all there is. That's 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 the basics of it. But there's positioning. Like, see how this has an exclamation mark? It means I'm going to get double damage. And you can see, like, the, uh, the, the damage was all highlighted. So there's threat. There's abilities. That's the basic of it. But then there's stuff like this, which is like... You can get... Long days. Team attacks, which I'm hopefully going to do in a second here. As soon as Ryan actually gets threat. Oh god. Oh, I'm dead. That's actually kind of good because now I don't have threat. <laughs> well, so much for team attack. Okay, now we can do a chain attack. So chain attack is like, oh, everybody's coming together and I should have not done that, damn it. I just screwed that up. Oops. I, I totally completely screwed that up. I mean, 6,500 damage is not bad, but still, I, I should have done a break. But like basically there's no items. There's no items. There's no like uh there, like everything in battle has to be self-sustaining. So like the fact that Ryan isn't taking very much damage doesn't mean anything. Because he could, you know, like heals have cooldown. This is my heal. It's got a cooldown. I'm waiting on it. You know, I'm waiting for that heal so I can hit, so I can heal, you know. That that's like you gotta manage that stuff. <laughs> Juju! Are you all right? Sh Shala. I'm sorry. Here it comes. <sighs> Got him. I'm so glad you're okay. Hey, looks like we changed the future. What's up? Well, it's just that... That can't have been the mech on from my vision. Yeah, weren't it supposed to be that one with the face? I guess we changed more than we expected. No. Shulk? No. 
Something's not right. Uh. <gasps> Juju! No! It's not him at all! But this one's got a face and all! I've been waiting for you, Monado boy. What? It spoke! Uh. <laughs> Great metal face, Scarford. I thought you'd have to be this big scary monster. But look, you're just a pathetic little kid. Uh oh. Come on, let's see what you got. Up in the floor, get me. Yeah. Up in the floor, get me. But I'm not doing any damage. What am I going to do? Monado. It's... it's only the ones that have faces. But... I can still see what it's going to do. Just like before. Nice tricks you got there, Pitsqueak. Darting around the place. That's the Monado's power. Won't matter, you're still flesh and blood and I reckon you're nearly done. Behind you! Shook! Leave this to me! Go take him out! Yeah. Got it! <laughs> oh shit! Now! Right! <laughs> <laughs> it's just bouncing off him! That was fun for a while! <gasps> but now I'm born! His knees don't seem to be the weak point. Thank you, Ark, for the 1,010 bits, dude. Okay, it's basically him. He just breath. keeps laughing. If you want him back, <laughs> you better come to Colony 6. But you'll have to be quick. I'm feeling hungry. You! You're gonna pay! <laughs> I to grind you all into dust! Shala! Shala! No! Ah. Well, he would die from the acceleration of that, by the way. The kid would. Blind? No. I've played the original. Juju. But I still don't want, like, mechanics backseating and stuff, you know? Like, story of the spoilers also I don't really care to have because there have been a lot of people that have said specifically that they've never played the game. <sighs> Gado. It's only been a year since the Battle of Sword Valley. How? How did the numbers grow so quickly? Are their numbers too great even for you, Gado? 
Atharon. Medic Sharla, here are your new orders. You and Juju are to ready the evac ships. You will be in charge of the evacuation. Uh, but... You must realize the ships can only carry so many. We must stay behind and fight to protect those who remain in Colony 6. Uh. I'll be fine. I'll be able to keep my mind on the battle, knowing you're safe. <sighs> Promise me. Sharla. Promise that you'll meet us outside the colony. I... Just make sure you get out of here alive. Yeah. I promise. Don't worry. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got eaten. Thank you, Ark, for the 456 bits. Gado. A promise is a promise. And until a promise I see you is again... A promise. I will protect everyone. No, let me protect everyone. Shala! I keep them real safe inside my belly. Shala! Juju! Juju! Especially the way he was held, that acceleration would like freaking break his neck. Where Juju's are you? dead. He's dead, guys. He died. Hey there. Are you alright? The sleeping princess awakes. Had us worried there for a minute. How long have I been out? Huh? How long have I been unconscious? Four hours, I'd say. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Hold up. Mind if we go with you? You're going to bust into their base, right? We want a piece of them too. Really? Truth be told, we were going to leave without you. But the thing is, I get roughed up a lot, and we don't know anyone else who can use ether. I... Thank you both. It's a very, very powerful rifle that shoots healing bullets of death. It's been a while, and it's just... I never imagined I would go back to Colony 6 like this. I'm sorry. Lost myself for a minute. We can get to Colony 6 from the valley where Juju was taken. It's this way. Kills tanks and the wielder! Perfect. My favorite. Hi there! Hi there! So, in my original playthrough, this was basically my team all the way through the game, and I'm going to try... Well, actually, that's not true at all. I used a lot of different people, but I'm going to try and use specifically some characters that I did not use uh, <clears throat> in my original playthrough, but it's going to be rough because I can't actually imagine beating this game without Sharla in your party. <laughs> like, I, I can't, I can't imagine how you would do that. Uh, but yeah. Don't, don't, don't say anything, please. <clears throat> Regarding like, oh, just do this, just do that. Well, no, just, just let, let me, you know, if I'm going to figure it out, I'll figure it out. But the, the, the one thing I want, the one person I really want to use is someone else. Specifically one that I never used ever at all.
what am I doing? Walking, lull. Like some kind of freaking peasant. There's a quest giver there. Interesting. Those are deadly. I saw in the cutscene there was like a immovable Gonzalez, level 90. He, he's now taking the place of where that one is. One was. Yeah. There was like a lootable in the water over here during a cutscene. It was a quest item. Cutter eliminates the rain effect? Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, it's really hard to see the rain effect. Wow. Wow, that's weird. Cause it's raining right now. <laughs> you can kind of see it at the cliff edge. Yeah, that has nothing to do with like the the quality in which I capture it. That's interesting. We can't lose. I don't want anyone dying out there. Leave it to rise. Right. I'm really feeling it. Sure, that's good. Tranquilizer. Get back to us. Hey, tough guys. More company. <laughs> I love how she says that. It's so. It's so. <laughs> she's like, Ryan, don't jump the gun now, tee hee. Like, <laughs> has he been uh, <laughs> jumping the gun in other places? And you, and you know that's the right thing, huh? Let's yeah. Uh oh, we got a nebula. Sleeping. They caught me slipping.
Perfect. Nice to be done. Brog leg meat. We're just gonna leave the rest of the brog to rot. of old used all of the brog. We win! Let's stay alert. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Oh yeah, this is why you don't go down there. <laughs> Royal Caterpree. Wow. Okay, Batu, Batu, near Red Bull Lake on the Bionis Lake. Okay. I wonder why the quests aren't showing up uh, like they were before. Maybe there's like a story and then a side quest tracking like... Like just tracking a quest makes quest show up or something. No, that's being tracked. Confused how the quest tracking like is kind of sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. I'm trying to figure out what it is that allows it. Like sometimes it'll just show everything on the map that you can you can do. <clears throat> like sometimes I'll I'll go on oops I'll go on the map and it'll just show all the quests that are available. You know, like bam you know everything. Oh, well that's the one I'm tracking right there. The Ponyo meat or whatever, but the, the, like usually it'll show all the quests, and it's only showing some of them. And that's the buddy I gotta locate for the dude we just got a quest for. Let's start up over here. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it, it, like, there's definitely been times where all the quests that I had were showing up on the map. And that was awesome. I need that all the time. Please. Please all the time. to trade with them first. K 
kill Ponyo. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. This one's mine. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quickly. Yeah! Sword to a flash! Stream edge! Wow, down! Nothing got through that pretty good. Let's not lose our heads, though. Let's keep on going like this, guys. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. This one's mine. Okay, let's sort this out nice and I love one-shotting the enemies and the battle music doesn't even start. It's hilarious. Let's keep on going like this, guys. Alright, I got the neck meat. I just need to kill more field ponios. Isn't that the... Isn't that the, the direction to the, uh... Encampment. Probably the next step on the little quest, yeah, okay. How's it going? Blah, 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 blah. Generic dialogue, I do not How's care. It going? Me. How's it going? How's it going? I've like okay, so a lot of people might be bothered by the fact that I'm kind of mashing through side quest dialogue. Uh, let me tell you, first off, A, I've played this game already. B, and I'm sure most of you have already. B, it's just generic dialogue. It's, my sister is sick, or, you know, Timmy is lost, or I need five boar livers so I can, you know, make a penis enhancement growth. Like, it's just, it's all, it's all generic. It's all redone a billion D billion times in every MMO or video game ever. It's all just collect X, find X, do Y, the end. You know, and then attach some generic like, oh, my brother is sick, so I need to have, you know, these sour grapes or whatever. It's it's all the same. It's all the freaking same. Which is why I get really excited for like actual good like in interesting side stories and stuff. <clears throat> if an NPC said I needed five boar lovers for penis enhancement drug, what is, what is exactly the kind of dialogue I would not want to skip? <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but I mean, I've read it all. It's all it's all generic, which is fine. It's it's not like it's poorly written or anything. It's just generic, which is you know, whatever. That's cool. I'm coming back to kill you later. Don't you worry. Is there much jiggle physics? No, not as much as two. It's a uh, it's a sad thing about two, honestly, Brad. Uh, freaking man, I love Xenoblade Two, but it was kind of a lower budget game, and they didn't want it to fall. Up, like they did, they wanted it to be successful, and that means like they needed to draw attention to it. <laughs> And the game is so good by itself, it really just did not need the jiggle physics, but, you know, whatever. Like, there are games that are bad that have jiggle physics, and, they, and they're just selling the jiggle physics, but there are games that are good to have them, and it's just a sad time because, you know, it just makes it feel like it's lost integrity or whatever, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. We almost walked right into that dude. That would have been bad.
the zooming in on the mouth kind of thing, that's more like cinematography thing, you know? That's more of like a cinematic style, rather. Which I appreciate because it's supposed to show, like, emotion and expression. Okay, let's get going. The one piece of equipment for Method that you want to equip anyways that covers her up a little? The equipment doesn't change in Xenoblade 2. There's nothing wrong with fan service. Like if 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 you got a girl character with boobies hanging out, like whatever. There's dudes with their freaking rock hard abs and their V going down to their crotch, like all over the place. Like whatever, it's fine. The difference is having a bad game with just fan service versus having a good game that actually that has some fan service added onto it. That's that's the difference. I can feel the power. Oh, there's there are there are actual outfit DLCs. Yes, that's different. That's different. Collect Tokyo's eggs, Pandora mushrooms. Oh, there was also uh, I got a thing. Auto attack max. Lock rate seven percent. <laughs> so that's actually a better damage, by the way. That's that's better average damage. The reason is is the minimum damage goes up thirty two, but the maximum damage goes down twenty. So you have a tighter window that's on average higher. I do lose one gem shot slot though, but that 30 freaking uh I like how he smells in his armpits. What a freaking What a dork. Oh. Yeah, that's that's uh That's better. That's slightly better. I think I have an ether up too. Yeah. Bleed defense? Black. <coughs> I think this can be put on someone taunt arts why you would want taunt arts on somebody that's not Ryan. Well, I guess there's one other person where taunt, or two other, actually there's two other people where taunt arts would be okay. So now I can do heavy equipment out on Shulk, which is cool. Not a big deal, but it's, it's cool. One piece of normal equipment is not DLC. I forgot to maybe censor her in the DLC, but no. I don't remember anything about that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the way Mithra looks. Like, she's a little showy. Whatever. It's not like it's really obscene. It's, it's not that bad. It really isn't. The biggest thing is that one ice girl. But she's... She's definitely out there. Like, here's the biggest thing about video games and, like, sexy-looking characters. 
It goes both ways. Both men and women in video games, like heroes and heroines, are all attractive because it's cooler to have a badass or, or sexy looking character, man or woman, doing all the cool stuff versus, you know, like the freaking guy from South Park, you know, that's all that's hacking and killing everybody. Like, who wants to play a, a game as hell? Like, nobody, you know? And, 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 and whatever. It's like... It's about having a cool hero or heroine to do awesome, cool stuff instead of having, you know, like... Bob from Accounting. That's not an interesting character. I mean, if you if you parody it well, yeah, it'd be a fun character. I don't want to fight you. I'm a pacifist. Oh. Change my mind. Ah! So I mean, having characters with you know like sexy outfits or or, or dudes with like freaking rippled muscles with that V going down to their crotch and stuff like it's it's a, a fantasy ah! for one because you you know you're like oh man I want to be that character or whatever that's like the kind of muscles I want or whatever or that's the body I want but also it's just about being cool and feeling cool you know. It's true, you're not wrong, Crystal. It is geared more towards the the uh, the male, like you say, male power fantasy, much more than it is towards women. Absolutely, and there's a reason for that, and the reason is actually dying out. So, so uh, back in the day, back in the ye old days of video games, before video games were really geared towards anybody, uh, the the population of gamers was split down the middle, 50-50. girls and boys, equally love video games as they do now. <clears throat> Uh, but back then, video games weren't really doing super well. And they decided that they needed to sort of, like, gear towards a certain audience. And so, like, our very arbitrarily, they just decided boys. They did, they, it wasn't a decision. Like, it wasn't, like, an important decision. It wasn't, like, um, you know, more boys play games than girls or anything like that. It was just, like, it was arbitrary. It's very, very arbitrary. It's just like, well, we'll just we'll just gear our games towards boys so we can capture an audience instead of kind of being sort of in the middle, not really having an audience, you know? And so they just started making games towards boys. So you get these action heroes with ripped muscles and always saving the hot girls and doing that and the other, and which is very much, like you say, that male power fantasy, you know, like the, I'm buff, rad dude, cool, and I'm going to get all the girls, and all the girls are going to want to smooch me, and it's going to be great, you know, like that's very much in line with that <laughs> but as as time went on girls were kind of like but i still like playing video games what the hell you know like all these games are just geared towards men and or boys at the time and i still like playing these games i just don't care about these characters like make games for us too and and it's that's that voice especially once the internet became a thing was heard a lot more prominently and so now we have games that are a lot a lot more inclusive to all walks of life, male, female, and anything in between. Uh, and that's starting to become better and better as time goes on. So, I mean, there's a lot of really awesome female leads that are that have integrity and don't just have their boobies jiggling all over the place. Like Lara Croft and the new Tomb Raiders? Holy shit! She is badass, and she doesn't go around shaking her titties, you know? She's just a badass girl, and I love it. Uh, and there's a lot more of that going out to where, you know, everybody has, like, a, a character they can look up to. Right! Let's do this! Leave it to Roy! Don't let a single one escape! I want to check out this case. I don't think there's a quest in here or anything. I just want to look into it. Monado, lend us your power! How good are we? Shadow Eye! Arden's pretty hot, yeah. <laughs> oh. 
feel like in terms of female leads, action games are kind of going all in while RPGs stay more to the male lead side. Please correct me if you're wrong. Uh, yes, yeah, sex sells, of course, VG. Absolutely. And on both sides. It's not just, you know, men that get, that get dragged into that. Women have hormones, too. Uh, that's part of, you know, life and everything. But, um... It's definitely a lot easier to just throw boobies on screen and, and, and sell to boys, you know? But... As far as female leads and RPGs goes, I think you might be right Surprise, on that. Surprise! Oh my bitch. god! <laughs> oh man, we got him good! See, <laughs> look in his eyes! Yeehaw! Thank you, Mark, for the 777 bits! I think I've actually already been here. I think I, I discovered. Oh no, this is new. This is a different game. There was a 77. Wow. There was the 77 bats in the other cave, but uh, that was a lot of experience, 770. Nice, nice find. That's another thing. Thank you very much for the support, Art, dude. Thank you, man. It's over. Let's keep on going like this, guys. Man, what a bunch of jokers. The enemy's weak. Another strong female lead that comes to mind is Estelle in Trails of the Sky. I haven't played Trails. Um, I, they're on the list. We'll get to them. <laughs> There's nothing inherently wrong with having sexy characters, but if a person's only role in the story is to be sexy and not, and not be a character, that's a problem. Correct. Like, if, if it's actually, like, a character that's, like, a like a prostitute or a, a stripper or something like that, you know, like, like a sex worker of some kind, that's different. Like, that's their character, you know? That's part of their character? That's fine. But if it's just like, I'm I'm main female protag, but all, I, all I'm good for is jiggly boobs, and I have no personality otherwise, that's bad. That's where it gets bad. Indivisible, indivisible is female lead, yeah. But it's not, it's more of a platformer, isn't it? I guess it is, is an RPG as too, isn't it? Like Rummy? Yeah, basically. The, the thing that bothers me the most is when they turn female characters into a, like, a pile of hormones who can't do anything because they're just hormonal and, you know, oh, I'm weak female, I can't do anything on my own, I need strong man to come save me. That That is actually the worst you could possibly do of all the things. And that's one of the reasons why I hated games like Revenant Wings or Final Fantasy X2 or, um... <laughs> any of the side Final Fantasy games, because they turn these strong female characters into piles of emotion, and it's just like, yeah, it's okay to be sad, but, like, taking five years to get over Titus, and you just can't move on because you're, you're hormonal or whatever, is really terrible character development. Compared to Xeno 2, how would you rate this game? Better or worse? I... Oh, man, Brad. I, dude, I wish I could answer that question. There's there's pros and cons to both. I think Xeno 2 is a lot more well-polished and the combat's better uh, because it's just a, like a, a version of this that's much more polished. Visually, it's better. The OSTs are about even, but gameplay kind of like bounces between what's better. It's, it's hard to really say. And I'm hoping for these damn fireflies to respawn, but I, I actually don't know how long the respawn timer is. I would not recommend playing this game on the 3DS. I would not recommend uh, playing this on 3DS, dude. It's 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 not a good game to play. It's an epic freaking like look at this shit, dude. This is gorgeous, man. You are not gonna be able to see this on the 3DS and be like, wow, pretty. You're just gonna be like, oh, there's some stuff. There's some like pixels on the screen, I guess. Yeah, but when it, when when push comes to shove, sho shove Psycho Sheep, she turns into a sad sad girl instead of like, you know, having what she wants and, and and letting loose and everything. That part of her is fine. It's the seven million years have passed and she still can't get over Titus, and and I'm gonna cry because I'm girl and I can't just be you know move on. Like she was strong and had had a power, a power in her reservation. You know, she was she was a really, really great character in X, and then they just like, I'm sad because Titus. Huh. I don't, 
It's it's not super realistic for for anybody to hang on to somebody after years and years, especially when they're young. Some shitty writing, but think Yuna's emotional journey coming in terms with loss and not having her her life go the way she expected. I I think it's I think that would have been a lot better if it was like half a year, you know, but like two plus years. I don't know. That seems a bit long. But her finding the place in the world and everything and, and letting loose and everything, that was all fine. Like, she had this very reserved life of a summoner. And her just, like, letting loose and breaking out was totally fine. I mean, I'm not... I'm not really happy with the scope of the world, like, suddenly pop stars in a fantasy world, but... Um, her letting loose and, and her, her ability to just be carefree was great. Two plus years. I guess that's true. Like, t t two years later, and then she finds the Sphere of Titus, and then it all comes back. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. It wasn't that she was holding on to it for two years. It was more like two years passed, they find the Sphere, and then... And then she's like, oh, no, maybe he's still out there. I guess that's true. That's that's a good point. I never really thought of it that way. She doesn't, she doesn't sit there pining over him for two years. It's more that the sphere brings it all back, which makes a lot more sense. But don't drop your guard. This won't take long. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quickly. Things are really heating up. Girl up, boy. We're the best. We make a great team. Good thing I'm here. No? Anyone? I'm glad you're here, Ryan. I'm gonna keep saying that. You need to hear it, buddy. Ba -da -da. Those are wisps, but I don't think they're the ones that are give me the items. Let's find out. Wee! This isn't going well. Wait, don't rush off. Shield bullet! Uh. Uh. Hammer! Ah. Kill bullet! Uh. How good a wit! Come on, we got through that pretty good. We make a great team. Good thing I'm here. No? Anyone? The tone change between X and X2 is harsh. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, they they kind of it, it's kind of sort of retcon the, the the like world lore and story a little bit, and it's pretty rough. But there's a lot to love about X2. Of, of all the Final Fantasy side games, X2 is definitely the, the easiest one to enjoy. Oh no, I'm trapped down here. Uh, mostly because the combat is is fantastic. Oh, there's a quest thingy down there, though. We can go over here and see if that's actually the quest. Oh, no, we can't. So there's a quest in there, but I can't do it because there's a little 70 in my way. Let's see if we can access it from over here. You want to know a fun fact about Final Fantasy X and X-2? Like, we're talking about the story writing not being very great, right? We can we can, we can can all agree that the writing in Final Fantasy X-2 is not very good. But the writing in Final Fantasy X is fantastic, right? Same writer. Same exact pen-to-paper person. get down there and then should be right down here but there's level 70s down there maybe I gotta go around this way maybe I gotta do it at nighttime this isn't going well 
sorry. It's my fault. How is it your fault, Charlo? We're there to expand a story that was finished. Yes. That, that's the biggest problem with Final Fantasy X2, was that the story was told. It was done. It was, it was finished. But they, they decided to continue it for no really good reason. Well, let's run past this level 74 bat and hope for the best. Oh, hey, we did it. That was easier than expected. Oh, dear. Mysterious Barnaby. There's the quest item. Why is there a quest item here? Yeah, that's the thing about X2, uh, Crystal, was that like, if it just hadn't extended the story of Final Fantasy X, the game by itself would have been fine, you know? Wait, can I just like walk? Like the sound only, right? So if I just walk, then it should be fine. Should be fine. Should be fine. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So far it's fine. Oh God. Hey buddy, how's it going? Wow, it worked. All right, sweet. <laughs> I really like Sarah as a character though. So 13.2 was a little bit more enjoyable for me, even though this story was doo doo butts with time travel and nonsense. But I like Sarah, I like Sarah quite a bit. Maps, Psycho Sheep, where Pinello is like, I'm so sad and girl hormones and I can't do anything now. I can't. I'm just going to sit here and cry. Like, literally. That's what she does instead of fighting. And she just sits there for the entire battle crying because she's so sad by everything that's going on. It's so insulting, man. It's so messed up. Whereas Pinello was like a kick-ass kind of girl in FF12. You know? Uh, but I mean, yeah, there are other female characters, sure. I guess we just have to walk up that way. Yeah, Beatrix is great. was a for sure fan service absolutely dude that, that was the intent of the game 100 percent fan service the video game ff13 is great yep it gets a lot of shade because of how poorly it starts, but yeah, I get it. I understand why people don't like it. Bam, 
I hope I don't sound like I'm like trying to mansplain shit for for the ladies out there. It's not my intent. I just think that women deserve better. Power, thank you for the 20 months, dude. Weak, but don't drop your guard. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quick. This won't take long. Boing. <laughs> rear Admiral. That's, that's an achievement name. <laughs> I'm a Rear Admiral, apparently. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Admiral of the rear, winky face. Thank you. There. Three out of five. Still need two more of that damn fluid. You know, I should track that, actually. Where's the log? Uh... So I can see where it all is. Oh god, it's all over. The combat system for 13 killed you, killed it for you? Oh man, I love the combat system in 13. <laughs> love the combat system in 13. It's really good for me. It's very, uh, it's very like, what? What? It's very strategic. And a lot of people don't really realize it. They think it's like auto battle, the, the combat. And it's like, it could be for the truth, you know? But it does ruin it for people if they don't quite understand. Affinity coin, I still don't know what that means. I think it just means like my affinity leveled up or something. And don't worry, Servo, I understand, man. It's really surprising how many people have played Xenoblade 2 but not 1, you know? It's crazy. I, I, there's so much you can get out of Xenoblade 2 by playing the first one. I'm never gonna give up. I think it just means their affinity like leveled up or something. I don't think it's like some kind of item. That's right, VG. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot that they they made a uh, they made Xenoblade One a, a a GameStop exclusive or whatever. Oh, that's why it's so hard to find these damn flies. It's like they're only out at evening, not night. The 3DS version is hard to play. <laughs> I would not recommend it. It's like trying to play World of Warcraft on. 3DS. Like, you're just gonna have a bad time. It's fine if, like, all you needed to do is just some grinding or whatever, but... Okay, I think those ones are the ones up there, and these ones are down here. So, Vazero, what I wanted to show you was, like, you know how we're, like, on the Bionis and the Mechonis and stuff? Like, some of the cool stuff about this world is that at any given time, like, you can see where you are. Like, when, if it were daytime, like, you can see the outline of the sword there, but, like, the Makana sword, you can look up and see the Bionis. You can look across the way and see the Makanas. 
And it's like that all the time. It's so freaking amazing, dude. It's really cool. So like, you know, if I were to climb a little bit more, I would like, cause I'm on the knee right now, I'm on the thigh. And it, and it gives me that perspective. And I love it. It's so cool, dude. It's rad. The enemy's weak. But don't drop your guard. This won't take long. Okay. Let's sort this out nice and quick. Maybe it was just the rain that was sending them away? Maybe it was rain that they that can't that they don't exist in. Ba -da 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 -da. This version also has really good quest tracking. As you can see, hey look, quest is being tracked. Let's go down here and do it. This isn't going well. Sorry, it's my fault. Shield bullet! Ugh. Fire! Hammer! Beat! Hill bullet! Sure, yeah! Uh, Backslash! Going! Oh. It's over! Man, what a bunch of jokers! We make a great team! People play a. Yeah, 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 it is, yeah. Xenoblade is, is a really, 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 really good game. Hard to play on this 3DS, yeah, so I would not recommend it. All right, how would I compare to ZBC 2? Because you played that a fair bit. Yeah, I would say, I would say the game is about equal, man. Like, it's just, there's, there's pros and cons to both. And they're very similar games, but like, there's just, I don't know, something about this one that's, that is not the same as the other, you know? You never stood a chance. We make a great team. Would you agree FF13 is kind of like Kingdom Hearts 2 where it lets you get away with a very simple strategy for far too long? Um, sort of yes and sort of no. So the reason why I disagree with it is because the auto battle system, I mean, while it's told to you, it's not really forced down your throat. It's like, hey, look, here's, a, it doesn't even really tell you about auto battle all that much. But more than that, it's that the, enemy's weak. the auto battle guard. is very okay. slow. Like, very, very slow. And I can't imagine someone being satisfied with that. You know? I can't imagine someone going, wow, this is how you're supposed to play it, and it's so freaking slow, you know? So while the game does, like, like introduce you to a mechanic that's very easy to win by doing the auto battle, it's not only very, very slow, but then they introduce you to other mechanics over time. Like, Kingdom Hearts 2 didn't introduce me to those other mechanics. They were just like, here's the mechanic, and then that's it. You know, they didn't do anything else with it. Um, whereas FF13 does a really good job of, of slowly introducing you to additional mechanics as you go through the game. I agree, Medinio. I agree. So as a lover of Final Fantasy XIII, I agree that the start of Final Fantasy XIII is, is not the best. It's really not. It, 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 it gives you this really hokey, cartoony vibe, like Snow's like this freaking cartoon action hero. It, it's really not the best. And then uh, it's a really kind of boring environment. Like the initial cutscene's rad, but... It just does not do a super great job of, of going, hey, you know, this is a pretty cool game. Look at all the cool things you can do. How, I will say, however, that the game does a good job of teaching you slowly over time through, like, you know, sp good, good, well spaced out tutorials on interesting different new mechanics over time. And, and I think that's part of what makes it better. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. Nice and quickly. This one, I yeah, I saw it was self-defense. <laughs> Kicks hope down an air vent. It was self-defense. He was coming right for me. <laughs> that was a valuable oh my god. <laughs> Wait, why isn't the alert show why isn't the alert showing? Wait, the alert wasn't showing. Thank you, Eric, for the 13 out of the 13 bits. I just glanced over. The alert wasn't showing. What the hell? It did show up? Oh, okay. I just must have missed it then. Oh, it's the rain. The rain makes the fireflies go away. Okay. 
But if you change the time, so does the weather change. Oh god, that was scary. Thank you very much, Ark, for the support, dude. That was <laughs> that was perfect. We win. Let's not lose our heads. Absolutely Let's perfect. Keep on going like this, guys. I'm coming back to kill you later. You guys just wait. So yeah, it, it does. It does. It, it it starts off really slow, and it's hard to get into. But like, if you if you really like start to appreciate the it's it's a game that really rewards you for actually exploring the mechanics and not just being like uh, auto battle. But I I, I I kind of agree with you, VG, that it does offer you a very easy solution. But I, I think it's like you have to really not be interested in the game to just accept that auto battle is the way to go and just play that way the whole game, you know? Juicy broccoli. Ew! Ew! Juicy broccoli! Ew! Ugh! That's like... That's like... Moist steak. Ah! <laughs> No, I, I want my I want my steak juicy, not moist. You know, <laughs> there's there's a there's a there's a difference there. I assure you. <laughs> moist with ketchup. Ugh. You want a steak juicy, but not moist. You know, it's like juicy cake. Don't you want your cake juicy? You know, no, you want your cake moist. Like there's 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 that difference in like what a word feels like. Even though juicy and moist kind of are the same word, you just they they're not interchangeable. They just they just aren't. This isn't going well. Don't give up. I'm right next to you. There's also Japanese mayo, which is very different than other mayos. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. This won't take long. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quick. I'm really feeling it. That was too easy. Who else wants some? Okay, let's get going. So here's the thing, Dracorius. Uh, it's very common for children to misplace blame and they kind of have to come to terms with it. So we were just talking about this earlier with how people like were review bombing PSO2 because the MS Thor downloader is bullshit. So re re they're, 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 they're just trying to find a scapegoat for their problems. And that's a very childish thing to do is what we, we kind of came to the conclusion of, right? And it's the same thing. Hope is a child, so he his blame is misplaced. But that's kind of a childish thing to do already, you know. So like, I don't like Hope, but his character is well written. It's it's fine, you know. I don't like him, but that's 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 on me, you know, not on the writer. I think. A pretty lady who's telling you she's feeling juicy. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Oh. A pretty lady that says she's feeling juicy. It's over. Who else wants some? We make a great team. Uh. Ha, come on. Take this. We got 
through that pretty good. Let's not lose our heads, though. Let's stay alert. Finally. Report back. Report back. Maker bonnets, field paneels. Wait. Oh, okay. If it, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. If anybody knows how to do it where all of your side quests are tracked, you can go ahead and tell me. That is something I will accept because I, I do appreciate the new quest tracking. And I would love to, uh, see look, it's showing the ponios on the map now even though I'm not actually tracking it. Like, see, I, I have white Eduardo tracked but if I go to my map, it's showing the, the ponios there where it wasn't before. The enemy's weak. Oh, oh, oh my god. That's <laughs> definitely. <laughs> okay, yes, they were ponies. Damn it. <laughs> Thank you, Kamen Rider, for the 1,111 bids. I suppose that was coming, wasn't it? <laughs> but it's not tracking the maker bunnets. And I know the maker bunnets are over here. There it is, maker bunnets, see? Return, return, return. Gotta return at a different time for these other NPCs. Oh, new quest. Darn, just when I thought I was almost done. I only had one more quest to do. <clears throat> do what this nerd wants me to do. Put a flower on the grave, okay. So it's it's weird because there's all this talk about like dipping mustard that's going around and I'm just like wait when was has dipping mustard been a thing like that's popular I mean I know people like Dijon mustard or like honey mustard or something but like do people have like five kinds of mustard in their fridge for dipping cuz I've never really heard of that I look, you know what's funny is like, I like sandwich mustard. I don't like honey mustard or anything like that. <laughs> I just like mustard, just just regular old mustard. This isn't going well. Wait, don't rush off. Ha! No! 
Four or five here, five here, four here. Wow, okay. It's like days on enemy suffering from topple. Nice, now I have a days attack. So if I break you, are you gonna, are you gonna hammer down him? No, of course not. What about now? Hammer down, hammer down, hammer down. There you go. You know, maybe I just haven't had good honey mustard or something, but like, it's a really strong flavor, you know? And, uh, regular honey, spicy brown, ground seeds, and ballpark. Ballpark? Isn't that just regular mustard? Wow. I got a, I got a lot to learn about the, the, the world of mustard, apparently. Refugee camp? Yeah, all right. Let's actually do this final quest that I have in my log. Defeat White Eduardo. Oh yeah, he only comes out in a thunderstorm, right. Oh, it's a thunderstorm right now. Shoot, it was a thunder. Oh, it still is. It is a thunderstorm. Okay, 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 okay. So I gotta find this white Eduardo guy. There, there he is. I missed the platform. This is the first thunderstorm I've actually seen, so I'm pretty like hype about getting to this guy. But don't drop your guard. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quickly. This one take long. I'm really feeling. Yeah, now it's right time. I'm really feeling. I think he has break resistance. Yeah. Barbecue. I mean, I like all kinds of barbecue sauce. <clears throat> I like all kinds of barbecue sauce. That's fine. But I, I, I don't know. You know, I think what it is, it's like I had like McDonald's honey mustard once or something like that. And I was like, I don't like this. And then that was that was the end of it, you know? So maybe I should try some... Uh, some Because like when I hear so many people talking about their dipping mustards and stuff recently, I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> Recovery up. Does that mean the, the recovery that re you receive? Increases HP restored when being healed. Yeah, okay. I don't really care about that for the others then. I already have a steady Qsys, so whatever. Return. Return, return. And then the knife. Okay. How's it going? 
I'm really wanting some like buffalo strips or freaking chicken strips or something right now though. I'm impossible to get right now though. Me. I mean, it's not impossible to get if you don't mind, you know. How's it going? Risking death. Lime Bengal. Yeah, sure. You got nothing right now, so what the hell? Uh, I don't have, I don't have like, I've never really made my own chicken strips, which I could do, I, I, but I don't have breading of any kind right now. Hi there. So if I wanted, I could do chicken, but I couldn't do like chicken strips or anything like that. I also don't have like a fryer, so it's not really a, that's not really a recipe that I've really ever gotten into. Uh, I, but I would be interested in learning. I like cooking quite a bit. I really enjoy cooking uh, a lot. But my, like, actual, I guess you could say, like, repertoire of cooking recipes is somewhat li limited. And it's mostly just because, like, I don't know, uh, sometimes it's a lot of waste in learning a recipe. And so I just kind of like, well, I could just cook this and I'll be fine. You know? But I'm, I'm definitely more interested in, I'm very interested in learning. So that might be something that I might look into. I love buffalo sauce as well. Like buffalo chicken strips are Me. like a freaking favorite. Collect the leg drop. You got it. pan pour like an inch of oil for breading yeah i know you can like like a like a light boil um oil to like kind of give like a fryer sort of feel to it and you just need breading at that point i don't i, I know i don't need a fryer of course but huh. knowing knowing how to do the breading right and everything is important but i mean you just need flour and seasoning so i mean you know just do it right i know it's not hard it's just you want a recipe to like base it off of and then you do it and then you go from there. But it's just like eggs, eggs, flour and seasoning, you know, and that's it. I mean, I guess I could just start with like pepper, you know, and just go from there. I guess it's not that hard, huh? I don't know if I have chicken breast to do that, but I'll have to look into it. I guess it's not as hard. I guess just two seconds thinking about it, you know. Makes it seem pretty easy. One leg drop from like regular. I thought I got a leg drop. Gotta go from Tranquil Grotto. I'm pretty sure this is the one that where the the freaking uh, level thirty spider came out and freaking tried to murder me. Nope, that's Doxa Shrine. Never mind. All right, it's over there, and both of them are over there. Cool, let's go. Dry rice? Yeah, you could also grind it with like mortar and pestle or, or a food processor or something. I do have rice, like just dry rice, because I, I, I like rice. What's your uh, what's your favorite grain of rice, guys? Do you just get like white rice, or do you like a specific grain? Because I like a specific grain, basmati. Yeah.
I, uh, I I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's like Arborio or something. Ar 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 Arborito. I, I can't remember the exact name, but that's the. I, I kind of know the general on. grain name. Oh, I died. Uh, but that's what I go for. Yeah, Arborio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a it's a really good. I mean, you, it's not for risotto. Like, you, it's better for risotto for sure. But like, if I'm having rice, that's the one I go for. It's a much like. A, how do I explain it? It's not as crunchy or hard, I guess you could say. It's it, it's it's like a really nice sticky rice, you know. Didn't die. High five. NPC. Time change, maybe? Oh, hello. Hello, markers. Dude, there's like 40, 80 markers. Unless it's like a total of 20 markers. Either it's, uh, either it's 20 of each marker or 20 markers, period. Sometimes the obvious eludes me. No, no joke. Sometimes the really obvious. I guess you guys kind of know that, don't you? <laughs> I guess you guys kind of know that, huh? <laughs> but yeah, sometimes the really, really obvious just kind of eludes me. Like, oh yeah, of course I could just grind up rice and use that if I didn't have flour. Or, or like, of course I could. I just needed flour and a seasoning and eggs, and I got eggs for days, man. Like, so I don't know if I have chicken breast though. <sighs> Could make my own chicken strips. FEG camp. Probably a time change then. There's some pretty cool armor changes and polishing up uh, in this game for sure. Who's this? What food am I having today? Probably nothing. <laughs> Saturday is my ultra, ultra, ultra busy day where I don't get to really do anything because I usually wake up early, but I stream as soon as I wake up, no matter when I wake up. And then I play D&D &D until midnight. So... I don't really get a lot of time to like cook <laughs> on Saturday. You should meal prep. I really should, dude. I really should. Yep. No, you're 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 not wrong. I should meal prep. I'm not I'm not very 
I've never really had to, and I know like I could just cook cook up some like like seasoned chicken, like uh, shredded chicken, like shred up some chicken and season it and cook it up with some vegetables, and then I just reheat it in some containers or whatever, and that'd be way better to do. Sometimes I do kind of meal prep. Like when I make spaghetti, when I make a pot of spaghetti, it, it lasts for a long time. Like I make a freaking pot of spaghetti, you know? Or if I have a roast that lasts me for a few days or something like that. But uh, that's not always on the menu. And right now things are a little awkward, so. I don't eat today, more or less. I mean, I'll grab some like salami or something, but I'm not gonna be making anything. Prep for busy days, yeah. No, I, I agree. No, I 100% I agree. That's keeping your energy up is really important, right? No, 100% agree. I just, uh, yeah, I'm bad at it. <laughs> just take five hour energy. That's the way to do it. Like, the thing that I really don't want to do is get used to eating eating foods that aren't super great for me, you know? Like, oh, it's easier. I'll just do this. You know, I don't, I don't ever want to get used to it. And I've started to a little bit because of, uh, like, uh, lockdown is limiting options. Uh, while I have, like, stuff in the pantry, you know, to last for a long time. And I have plenty of food and all that good stuff. It's more that even produce, like people can go into a store and they have and just cough on all the produce, you know? And like, you gotta be careful of that. So like every, every time I go shopping, I just let things sit for a couple days before I, I touch it, you know? I go shopping and I wash my hands, let everything sit that I bought for like two or three days. So fresh produce is kind of an awkward situation. And then also there's a shortage of meat in general, so. Some people have lost weight because they're taking advantage of like not being able to go out and do stuff and working out and eating and figuring out how to cook better for themselves. Ah, oh, nice, I'm on the Bionis' crotch. Perfect. And then other people are gaining weight because they're sedentary, you know? This is Colony 6. It's like a fortress. Did people really live here? So Requiring a mask does not prevent people from taking it off and doing it's it anyway. A month. We'll it just lets you in the door. And, smash and some people metal. have certainly done that. Wait, we can't just rush in. We could enter through the mine. Mine. There's a massive ether deposit under the colony. The first settlers here built right on top of the mine. That's how we got our colony. The mine is like a network of tunnels. It's much more complicated than the colony streets. They can't have figured it all out in the space of a month. No. So they were not re-recorded. She means it's the best route if we want to remain unseen. You're catching on. Great. So how do we get in? Through the drainage outlet. It's just up ahead. I think the audio files were like, I, I, I think they had uh, the like the original files, you know, they didn't lose it. They didn't like toss everything like a lot of developers used to do back then. And a horse wiener. wiener. <laughs> what did you say? A horse wiener? Now, now that's, that's dangerous. dangerous. 
Thank you, Common Rider, for the eleven dollar eleven cent donation, dude. Thank you, Ratchet Four is climbing up there, man. Thank you very much for the support. So yeah, this was made in two thousand and ten, so they kept all the files, so they were able to like not have them as compressed, and that's why it sounds better. Like, back in the 90s, it was very common to just delete things once you were done with the game. That's why, like, you know, source files and stuff are not really there, blah, blah, blah. Had to redo it. Poor quality, etc., etc. But... <clears throat> uh, not so much in 2010. They realized, oh, that's a bad idea. We shouldn't do that anymore. Three DS had a version of the got a re-release of the game, yeah, which I've heard is a pretty big struggle to try and play, just because it's you know really big epic RPG. Oh look, oh dude, you can see the Mikonis's eyes, man. Oh, that's sick. Through the hazy clouds and stuff. Oh my god, watch this guy with no thunder uh, strikes. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool! You get like this like like this little outline of the Mechanis from the lightning strike. Oh man, that's so rad, dude. That is so rad. That's so cool, and you can see a sword. God, that's so cool. That's a pr pretty interesting effect because that mean you know what that means? Do you know what that means? Oh my gosh. You know what that means? It means that the mechanics is not part of the 2D pre-rendered background. It's a rendered 3D image and there's a lighting effect that's occurring behind it. That, that means it's a rendered polygon object way out there in the distance that's being drawn into the map and there's a light lightning lighting effect behind it that show that lets it have a silhouette like that that is so cool and that's part of the Wii version too and, and I played this game without having when I played the original I didn't really have that knowledge of like how game design worked and I just was like oh that's cool you can see the mechanics at the end you know Already out? I don't know, man. I feel like it took a long, <laughs> a long time for this game to come out, but it just came out yesterday. The freaking world building and, and attention to detail in this game, just so good, dude. It's so rad. I freaking love it, man. Music, the characters, the story, the voice acting, the dialogue. Like, the actual writing of this game, like, this is an actual anime game that has really good writing and really good voice acting, which is, like, one in a million. What if the skybox has layers? One for the skybox minimum. So there's actually um, there's actually a, a video series called Behind the Game or something like that on YouTube, and they they do stuff on this game. And so basically, what they do is they get a three they get a they open up the game basically and get a developer camera to look around. It's there. It's a physical object. They 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 they, they the, the one of the most impressive episodes of Behind the Games or, or whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called, the, the series, but is, is this game, is, is a discussion on this game and how impressive the scope and world building is. Uh, just especially for a Wii game.
I remember this cave being a pain in the butt, but since I've done basically every single side quest, uh, it should be a face roll. I'm kind of enjoying the fact that by doing all the side quests, I'm a little higher level than everything, and I can just kind of walk through stuff. Like, I do all the fighting in my side quests, you know? Which, which is weird, because when I played this game originally... Oh, these are not walkable through a walk through rubble. When I, when, I, when I originally played this game, it was about at this point right here, where I was way under-leveled. Like, I felt under-leveled all the time, and everything was always, like, higher level than me by a, a decent margin. And it started to become a struggle to, to play the game. Uh, but it seems like they en enhanced the XP gains a little bit or something, because I'm not having that issue at all. But I don't know if I did all of the side quests the, uh, in my original playthrough or not. But I have, I have heard about the... Uh, I have heard about the expert mode, which lets you, like, change XP gains or something like that. But like, especially at the end of the game, I was like, like way under level. You know, you know that one boss that you fight before that one dungeon. That's you know, I think uh, near the end of the game, right? Uh, I was like three levels underneath that boss. And I still managed to get it. But when I got into the dungeon, things were then five levels above me. <laughs> and I was like, oh boy. And I really struggled with, with that part specifically. But like basically when we get to the, the top, like this this was doable for me. It was like, okay, they're even level kind of thing. Uh, but it was like, um, <sighs> past the moon place thingy. That was like where, where it really started to become an issue. And I was doing a lot of side quests all the time. Yeah. Maybe not every single one, but definitely a lot. Uh, can I compare? Oh, I see. Why isn't it showing? Oh, wait. Yeah, why isn't it showing? Oh, right. I can do that. That's weird that it does that. You have to, like, switch the character over. Crit rate down. No, no sockets. The only person that really needs armor is her. It was the pelt top or something. That's better, but no socket. What do I have in it? Ether up. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. Pelt bottoms. Well, I'm talking about people that have played this game. VG knows what I'm... VG knows... 
or who was it? Psycho Sheep? Someone said, someone was like, yeah, I got you, or something like that. But yeah, they, they, they knew, they knew. Yeah. I think it was Psycho Sheep. I, I'm, I'm a little head everywhere because shopping. You never played it? Oh. I, I don't know then. Never mind. I didn't say anything. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You guys are lying. <laughs> but anyway, basically, I, I like people were talking about the expert mode, and I'm just like. How were people over leveled in this game? What? I did lots and lots and lots of side co content when I played this game and I never, almost ever was higher level until like maybe, you know, the end uh, after I grinded. I'm oh, sorry, I was never ever higher level except for the beginning, rather, is what I meant to say. Dax, thank you for 21 months resub. Oh, that's a that's a book on a, on ability I don't have yet. That's why I don't I haven't learned it yet. Okay. What do I want to level up? Backslash can go into the next tier. Definitely leveling that one up. I'm going to be using that one. Uh, let's level up this one up a bit. I think it'd be good. that but it seems really necessary it accumulates aggro oh Yes, it's part of the material component, Dracorius. Guys, kill the noise. I mean, there's definitely oh a lot God. of like exploration I you can do. Can't they've taken the If you do too. a lot of optional content, you will be equal that level. The but force and almost are... everybody that I've seen play this game is under leveled, because like you basically are required to do oh, no. all optional Juju. content if you want to be. Keep it together, Sharla. Don't stop panicking now. Ryan. You said to yourself, they can't have seized the entire area, right? I bet you they're holed up someplace safe. Juju is alive, and we're gonna find him. That's why we're here. You can count on us. Uh, yeah, yes. 
It'll be fine. Ryan, Shulk, thank you. Yes, exactly. Yeah, if you don't if you don't do optional content in this game, the optional questing, like if you just ignore quests, basically, you will be incredibly underleveled. That's just how it's going to be. Uh, the thing is, is that you can just grab all the quests and just kind of kill things as you go. And there's, you know, that's that's totally viable, which is kind of what I try to do. But I also like to go back and do all of it, all the side stuff. Wow! We make a great team. Split Custer Empress Plate. What? Wasn't it not a? Oh, it was a weapon for her. Ether up. Mm, no, I think I like that one better. That's heavy armor, but it doesn't change what it looks like on her. The heavy armor should all be... Maybe it doesn't show because she can't equip it. I'm pretty sure I could set her skill tree to equip heavy armor eventually. Mental fortitude, physical defense up. Heavy equipment, I need the star. So she needs to get one more affinity thing. Oh, affinity coins, 46 out of 36, okay. Oh, oh, that's what I remember now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it costs like affinity coins to equip different passives from other people. That's what that is. The more close you are, the more affinity coins you get. I remember now. Power is power of healing arts and chain. That's worthless. Medium equip. Okay, that's also worthless. Ryan can equip heavy equipment baseline, so you know you don't need that. I mean, like if the game is good, you're gonna want to do the side content anyway, so you know. Right, let's do this. This one's all done blazing. Let me out. Ah! Bring it. Okay. But not a lot of people want to play the optional content. They, they're not interested in having to do the optional content. They just want to play the game, you know? And so I definitely see the flaw in that kind of design. Especially considering that was like basically my experience with the game was struggling to be high enough level to, to actually play. Okay, Just one more shadow I'm powering up. Now! Now it's Ryan's time. Alright, I guess you don't wanna. We win! Let's stay alert. Man, what a bunch of jokers. I don't remember, did Xenoblade 1 original have a mini-map like this? I don't remember having a mini-map. It did. Right, let's do this. I don't want anyone dying out there. Get me out of here. Let's more. keep up the fresh backslash. <laughs> we win. Good thing I'm here. No, anyone? Okay, let's get going. Hey, buddy. Huh. Nope, I did not play the 3DS version. I was like, I have the Wii version that I can play on my Wii U as well. Why would I do this, you know? Like, I was kind of vaguely interested in it. I was like, 
This is way too epic of a game to have on a 3DS. I would not enjoy this, Everyone, I don't think. Like on the tiny don't screen or whatever. Not to mention it's such a long game. I was like, I want something a little more shoulder on my handheld games, you know? Nice one, Ryan. Ryan, my rifle is getting hotter. Now! That was too easy. Good thing I'm here. No? Anyone? We make a great team. I know it definitely did not have this map, the one that you can pop up like this. This is so good. I love it, because it's like, oh, this is actually an optional area. I should check this out, you know? Cool. Right. For that reason, right there, baby. Elegant Marin, level 29. Ooh, wow. Do we fight Elegant Marin? Uh, the answer is yes, and we probably Everyone, will die. Let's go! I don't want anyone dying out there. Oh, that's it? That's all I got? No extras? Game over. I just did a. I just did a group attack. I just did a group attack and then pulled threat and then I died and then Ryan couldn't get threat back, so I didn't have the ability to res me. I was. It was doing. I was going pretty good there for a while. I, I thought. I think I could do it. Hmm. Let's try again. We can't lose. Let me out. Why don't I just beat up these guys? Let's focus our efforts. No problem. Oh, 
I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. Oh wait, it's a top wall. Or it's a break down a top wall anyway. That's one way to get threat to rain. I can still do it. Hit, hit, please, hit, please. I'm not hitting. She's gonna die. I, I, I literally missed five attacks in a row, so I could not actually get the shield power I needed. Look, I keep missing. If I just hit, if I just hit, there we go. Now I could have done the shield, but until then. Oh, that's... Oh, I still got the... Oh, I still got the taste. Nice. But I can't do a team attack because uh, I've been dying. So I need the res. I know it was risky to do team attacks. Or unity attacks or whatever they're called. When... God, I'm gonna die. When this thing is like four levels higher than me, five levels higher than me. Right, you're a lifesaver. My life Cannot let Ryan die. Please hit it. Please hit it. Stay strong. Get back to it, Ryan. Well, that's bad. We haven't lost yet. All right. Oh, we lost already. That is, that is definitely a loss if Ryan did, has died and lost all his threat. I could try to kite it a little bit, but it's not going to go well. a good idea to beat the ever living snot out of it while threat is so touchy. Sorry, it's my I'm really feeling it. Yeah, Shulk. Get stuck in. I'm really feeling it. Yeah, Shulk. I'm powering up. Ha! Ow! That's All right, now tear him up. Okay, right. Yeah! Uh, 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 u
Topple, 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 topple! I got a topple, but no, we can't do a, a daze because it's on cooldown. Hit him. No, that's the wrong one. Oh god, I just did a shit instead of shield. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't get the days, damn it. I could probably do a team attack and, and kill it, but I, I didn't get the days, so I'm not going to chance it. Especially since I'm low on HP. Not the bubble! Oh man, the deadly is attacking the block! Um, I think I won, but the enemies respawned. <laughs> I think I, I think I killed it, but the enemy. <laughs> oh. Holy shit, dude! Nice, freaking job, GG, y'all. Journey Dynam Empress Arms. See him. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime love. Share that Twitch Prime here. Thank you. Appreciate that. Welcome in. That was rad. That was a rad fight. That was awesome. I think it was what five levels higher than me. It was twenty nine, and I'm uh, twenty four. I think that was awesome. Usually, like you, you saw how sometimes I would tink off of it. That's because it was higher level than me. It seems like they may have toned that down a little bit. Uh, because I remember finding anything more than four levels to be basically impossible. But that was that was very intermittent tinking. Strength up. What does he have? Blaze defense. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, it's 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 tinking at three levels or more, right? Exactly. And so five, but but at five or more, it's it's more often. So three and four is about the same, but then at five it starts to get really bad. But that was only one or two tinks there, here and there, so it was not that bad. Uh, and it's actually kind of it, it can be okay because like if Ryan hits more than you do, uh, He'll build more threat if you if you keep tinking and it's fine. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You don't have to worry about threat. Like it's good. You're, you're golden. But yeah, that was that was awesome. That was cool. I think we I think we did a good job there. It was it was a lot of fun. I'm glad I fought that guy. That is one of the the advantages to being like higher level than the content, because like the the game will frequently throw uh, like higher level enemies in dungeons that, that are optional. You can avoid them very easily. But if you decide to, you know, you can fight them. And if I was not higher level, I would not have had the opportunity to fight that thing. So I think you do get some, quite a bit of, of good enjoyment and challenges by being higher level than the content. Depends. You can always go back to places too, whenever you want. Fast travel is legit in this game. An ether rifle. Charlotte White! Gado! I know that voice. Medic, is that you? Go! Atharon! 
That's our cue, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Hey, look! Yeah. Anime characters can talk while moving. Crazy! You mean they don't just have to face off to an enemy using idle animations and just talk that way? They can actually have conversations while moving and doing actions? That's insane. You're crazy. Doink! Whoops, I missed that. Behold the power of the Minato! I'm turning up the heat. You're really getting into this run. My back is getting hotter. Backslash! We're starting to look like a team. It's you and me here. I'm feeling it. Medic, why are you here? And that's one of the things I love about Xenoblade 2. They especially do it really well in that game, is having actual dialogue during cutscenes, like animation, choreography, and stuff. It's awesome! We have much to discuss. You'd better come with me. Sir. So, Juju has been taken by the bronze-faced one. Sir, what about Gado? Gado is gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Gado and I planned a surprise attack to set everyone free. But we failed, miserably. When I woke, Gado was nowhere to be seen. Only his rifle remained. But he is alive. I can feel it. We may not be joined by blood, but he's like a son to me. I'd know if he were dead. Oh. Some of the people in Colony 9 got eaten. Ryan! Um, yum, 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 yum. Sorry. I forget I said that. They don't kill Homs right away. If that bronze-faced one took him, we still have some time left. Are you sure? Boy, that blade oh, was I... once Dunban's. I'm not sure why you have it, but we're going to need its full power. You can count on me. Boy. We're heading for the central pit. Dantines, thank you for 28 months of Twitch Prime. The they kidnap. Thank you. If Juju's alive, that's where he'll be. Gather your things. We're moving out. It's okay, he's not a main character. He can he can what? he can fulfill that what? destiny. Kappa. You say something, Shulk? No, no. It's nothing. Forget it. This is the heart to heart with uh, Sharla and and Shulk in the bedroom. Wow, Sharla, you're just all over the place, aren't you? Good for you. Let's do a hard save. Oh, there's where expert mode is. Let's take a look.
Expert mode lets you store a portion of earned experience points for later use rather than being granted to a character immediately. You can enable it by opening the system menu for with plus and going to expert mode. Expert mode is disabled by default. When expert mode is disabled with enabled with R, all further experience gained through completing quests, discovering landmarks and locations, and gaining achievements will be reserved for later use. The expert mode option in the system menu accessed with plus lets you manually adjust character party levels. Increasing a character's level will cost reserve XP. Reserving a character's level will convert excess ex experience points back to reserve XP. Level adjustment is performed individually for each character. Select your desired character with A, then pick the desired level and confirm it with A. While leveling up, the maximum level is available with your current reserve XP will be shown. You cannot lower a character's level beyond the level they were first introduced at. Huh. But then I go like this. It said R3, right? When I'm pressing R3, nothing's happening. Oh, I see. regular I feel like that's a, there's there <laughs> I feel like expert mode is not expert it's more like uh like free mode you know like uh you could just like the extra xp that you get on characters that are forced on you you can just take that away and put it on your main characters and be higher level <laughs> you know what you could also do is force yourself to a lower level and kill higher level enemies that are easier to kill oh, yeah, up, and gain coach. huge amounts of What's bonus wrong? xp that way and then level yourself up on an enemy that shouldn't give you the same amount of xp i feel like it's Jojo! more like exploit mode than it's expert mode. this is for you what can it mean This is for you. Is Juju already dead? Or is he going to be killed? Is that why Atharon... But then... Oh, it's per character? Oh, okay. You can still take if advantage of it. Moving, is Atharon really going to die? Level one challenge run? Not possible no. in this game. What's wrong, Shulk? Literally not possible. <laughs> this battle is for my people. If you can't handle it, drop that weapon and head home. That's not it. I... It's just that... Out with it! Listen. Maybe we shouldn't just rush in head first. What? We got this far. I think we should observe them and plan our attack afterwards. You insolent... We don't have that kind of time. You don't know a damn thing about these machines. I yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's kind movements. of like Xenoblade 2 leveling system. I've planned this attack for a month. I know full well what's going to happen to my brothers and sisters. It's just... We're going. Fall in, medic. Sir. What's got into you? I... A vision again. Don't tell me another death. Yeah. I knew it. The shulk I know doesn't just chicken out for any old reason. This vision, was it like before? Kind of. I saw an underground ether river. And a Tharon. Hmm. Huh. An ether river. You know what? That sword lets you see the future. All that power, and you still keep getting it wrong. Better to use my brain than my fists. Shulk, I may rush in head first, but at least my head's useful for something. Getting bad. Okay, okay, I get the idea. I ain't done yet. You're useless on your own, Shulk. That's why we're here. Wow! Ryan, I... Next time you have a vision, you tell us. We That's bear true. the burden together as a team. I agree. Uh. You have a vision you don't like, we'll change the future together. Got it? Got it. What was that? Say it like you mean it. 
I got it, all right. Next time I'll tell you. He's right, Shulk. You two saved Juju once before. I know we can do it again. I believe in you. Thanks. They're right. We'll change what happens. Anyway, wow, internal monologue? What, what is this? Someone's got, like, good writing. What the hell? I don't understand. Like, it, it's, it's concise and to the point every word spoken is meaningful and realistic sounding. Like, he doesn't go off on, on like, a million years of 500 pages of their history and backstory and why grape juice is really important to this dialogue. It's just like, hey, man, we bear this burden together. Tell us. Period. The end. Moving on. And, you know, that's it. Like, it's good because that's real dialogue. Oh. And then he has, like, internal thoughts. And it's so easy to portray internal thoughts just the way they do it. Like, right, right here. Just, just don't, just do that. Don't have people talking at nothing. It bugs the shit out of me. I mean, it's Valen, dude. Like, if you started having visions and stuff, you think, like, you'd just start going off and telling people all your visions and stuff? You'd be treated like a crazy. Not to mention, it's sometimes it's more, like, you don't have the clear idea of what's going on, you know? Like, that vision's kind of vague. You see him falling, but what does that mean? It could mean a number of things. Like, it could mean that he's just... Doing one thing to sacrifice himself, it could mean that Juju's dead, it could mean that he's not dead, it could mean that he's going to die, like, it's, there's so much to, to see about it, or to think about it, and then instead of just, you know, I had a vision, let's tell everybody, what's up, hey, this old man's gonna die, lol. Wait, was that a path that way? Oh, I see we went up there. Materia Crabble, are we in Final Fantasy 7 now? Confirm same universe as Final Fantasy 7 because the Materia word exists in this game. That's that's how you know. If, if there's a similar word, then it's the same universe. Oh boy. That was a that was a named enemy. Let's focus our efforts. I want it. Okay. Fire. More enemies. I'm coming up. Don't give them any. Let's focus our efforts. No uh, uh, Gotcha. Uh, 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 I could I could help you out by saying just talk to Finn because he's the one that helped me out. I don't really I could like make suggestions to you, but like as far as like actually parts and setting it up and everything, you're, you're gonna be better off talking to Finn. But I mean, yeah, ask me a question, I'll answer it the best of my ability. Yeah, doink. What? That's all I got? Why did I only get two? I didn't even get Sterling's. If you want to have your games also like volume at your command, like I can just go like this. We make a great
I don't need internal audio configuration for like the game. I just have it at my fingertip. Like if you want that kind of functionality, you're, you're gonna need more than one channel, probably. But again, I would talk to Finn. He knows actually about that stuff. I did get a thingy. What did I get? Journey item. Ether up. Yes. I I could teach you, but y'all I'd have to charge you. Yeah. That's not scumbag maneuver. Are you really feeling it though? Definitely do this. Oh, that's why they're not right. I need a chance. That's not the chance. Damn it! Okay, guys, now we're pulling together. That's my right, showing up. Ha! Smash, smash! Ha! We can definitely do this. One less. Jealous of Shulk getting healed. Oh, I need to be even stronger. Nine, we did it. Yeah. You never stood a chance. Let's stay alert. Good thing I'm here. No? Anyone? You have a mic in mind. You have an idea of how the audio interface I need. I, I know next to nothing about good headphones to pair with condenser mics. Headphones? Oh. Uh. Yeah. Um, gosh, that's a good, good question. Uh, I don't, I could show you the headset that I use, but it might not have the input that you need, you know, cause there's like the 3.5 millimeter. Then there's like the, uh, the other one. I forget what it is. I guess we aggroed some stuff. Oh god. That's a lot of stuff! Yeah! That was too easy! 
else wants some? Yeah, Finn also has an audio Discord uh, channel helping thingy. I do have a tech help channel in my Discord, but there's not as many like audio wizards in there that know how to set that up. That's better. Double attack, huh? Uh, we're gonna keep that one though for those gems. <clears throat> I mean, we're gonna be going to Finn's channel tonight, Rikson. Like we play D and D there, so you can you can go to his channel, watch us play D and D, and then uh, you know you'll get a little bit of a idea of what the dude's like. Go into his Discord from there, and you know, no problem. I'm probably going to use Slit Edge forever, so I should just level it up. But yeah, he wouldn't be able to answer your questions now anyway because he's getting ready for D&D &D in, in a six hour stream, so. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, it looks like we pretty much covered all those areas. That was like where I fell down for the ice stuff, wasn't it? Or was that it? No, I think that was it. Oh, we do need to go up here to get down there. So let's check out what this is first. I mean, it's, yeah, it's better to be informed than, than, you know, than not. So, like, audio, I think audio investment is, is, a, is a worthy investment. I think it's a good thing to invest in, but, you know, be patient. Alley-oop. Alley -oop. Looks like it needed to go this way anyway, so that works out. That is not the right way. We're here, the central pit. Where are they all? I don't see anyone. They died. We'll take that lift. I'm ready to mash some mech on. Yeah. Juju, a Tharon, just hold on. I'm never gonna give up. Ba -da -da -da. Huh. 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 Huh.
Let's make Papega happy. Love Crane. You get away from my ether, you sons of bitches! Oh, do I have to kill them? All right, fine. We can't lose. Let me out of here. Don't let a single one escape. Oh. Now! No Eat way! This. Now, we can definitely do this! Now. Right. Uh, Minato, lend us your power! Bring it on! Yeah! Scream it! Uh, 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 now, yeah. You like that? Right! That was oh. a beauty! Leave it to right! Now! Uh, uh, it all. all right, now tear him up! Let's do it, Ryan! This will make a mark! That was too easy! Good thing I'm here! Anyone? We make I'm glad you're here, team. Ryan. That'd be scary as hell. Rubber Mantis. Okay. Gotta appreciate the small little details. Like, they have these little warning lights, you know, flashing all across them. Like, warning, don't get your head chopped off. Re realistic detail is always my favorite. Minato, lend us your power! Sword Split Come on! Wait! Like, ah, that makes sense that they'd be, you know, designed like that, and I, I really like that kind of stuff. I'm powering up! Now we're working as one! And as one, we're unbeatable. This will leave a mark. Take your edge! I'm really feeling it. Yeah, sure. Now it's right time. No, I'm on fire! Charlotte, did you see me? Did you see what I did? Oh, I, uh, wasn't really looking. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I love, I love, uh... I love the Ryan and Sharla banter. It's so apparent right off the bat. He's just trying to impress her all the time. Pacifist mech on. Right here, pac pacifist mech on. Oh, that just goes down. Okay, I want to go in the cave first then. I also want to maybe go across that thing more. I think I do. Can you blame me? Of course, yeah, Charlotte's cute. If I had like 57 abs like Ryan does, I'd be trying to impress Charlotte too. Uh, 
comes off as desperate? I don't think so. I don't think it sounds desperate at all. I think it sounds... I mean, he's, he's young. He's 18, right? A little goofy. But I think it's wholesome. I don't think it's uh, desperate or cringy or anything. You know, I just like to point out certain levels of polish in this game in, in general. This is part of like the original and like some some small little things that make the game really, really good. Like for instance, I'm higher level than these guys, so they don't aggro, which is great because I'm five or more higher, higher levels than them. So I don't have to fight a bunch of weenies if I don't want to. I like that. But the, one of the other things was that like, <clears throat> when I looted this fire node here, uh, a couple things happened. First off, the final tick that I hit the, the node, it colors down. And there's two, two good reasons for that. First off, it lets you know, hey, I've tapped it. Okay, I can move on. The second thing is, if you're mashing the button, and you're mashing A to just, 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 no, just hit it up, you know? You know exactly when it's, when it's tapped out, and you don't over mash and like hit the enemy or something like that. Like, you just know, you can move on. Like, right away, it's very clear visually to the player what's going on, what you've done, and, and when you can move on. And that's like really, 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 really important. You, the game doesn't force low-level enemies on you. The game doesn't, like, have this really awkward weirdness to it with uh, the looting of the, the nodes. Like, even just looting the little things on the ground. Just walk over it. Done. You get the thing. Very clear interface. Everything's just nice and smooth and polished. And it's just... That's just part of the game as it was. You know? It looks better in this version, but it's just... Good game design, y'all. Good game design. Right. Let's do this. Leave it to Ryan. Don't let a single one escape. Yeah. I'm really feeling it. Oh, that's good. Aura. Right. Take this. Good night. We can definitely do this. No way. Oh, Shadow Armor. No way. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to oh, enchant again. Damn it. Down. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it, it can feel a little overwhelming when that you even need to open the chest. It should just give you the items. But at the same time, I kind of like it because like you're not just, you're not like in the middle of battle getting this huge spam of like all the items that you looted, so you don't miss what you've got. You know, Everyone, it's it's quick enough to go. where it's not a pain in the butt to loot all the treasures, but it uh, it doesn't also like throw all this crap at you while you're fighting. You know. Oh, we have 
friends. We can definitely do this. Sure, the uh, the banter. I'm pretty sure the banter changes over time too, based on their affinity. Which means I think I may have gotten an affinity up. Which means I can go into her skill tree and get. Uh... Nope, not it's not up yet. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the, the affinity is actually pretty well done. Uh, basically, as you fight together and do combos together, your affinity builds up, and that's really just kind of like part of playing the game. Also, if you do, if you accept quests and complete quests with a set party, everybody's affinity between each other goes up. So it's all really just kind of like passive as you're playing the game, just use the party members you want to have affinity incre increase. Yeah, they still, they still. Wait, give gifts? Who will you give a present to? Oh shit, I forgot about this. I, oh my god, I forgot about this. Oh my god. All those things that you loot on the world map you can give as gifts. Oh no, she didn't like that. Wow, this is amazing. This is actually really rad. It like tells you right out after you uh, after you gift it like what the the, the change is. She didn't really like that stuff at all. Oh, there we go. Sour gooseberry. It didn't go up at all? Maybe I gotta have her give him stuff. There we go. Yeah! Now they like each other. You can see how the affinity gets crazy, by the way. Yeah, I totally forgot about the giving gift thing. I, yeah, I remember, I remember, um, like grinding out the end game of, of this game back when I played it on the original and like not remember it, not figuring out that you could give gifts until like, way like I was already done with the game basically, just need to go to the final boss kind of thing. And I was just like doing cleanup and I was like, oh my God, you can give gifts. This is ridiculous. My affinity could have been so much higher the whole game. Uh, So that means now that I can go to the skill tree, I can go to hers and I can go to the skill link and I can give her, wait, medium equipped? No, I want heavy equipped. I don't have enough affinity coins. So maybe if I unselect this one, wait. 
There we go. Now I can equip heavy armor. So now Sharla can equip heavy armor. The Empress play. Yep. That's what I was looking at. Spike damage. Yeah, spike damage is really rad, actually. Ooh, wow. Spike damage is really good. It's also really good for keeping threat. I mean, I got three of them. But now if she pulls threat, she'll uh, have the defense to take it. Holy smokes. What did she have before? I think she had a purple, okay. this on. Oh. Ah! That's pretty neat. There we go. Now she has loads and loads of defense, so if she pulls threat, she will not die as easily. It's a bug, of course he likes it. Ryan is definitely the kind of guy that likes bugs. I also really dig the uh, the new exclamation mark uh, icon on all the abilities, letting you know like there's a particular weakness to be exploited or directional bonus. That was definitely not part of the original. Did I forget to enchant again? I did. Yeah, there is that as well, Ryu Power. Yeah, the right the right party members will and and, and affinities will uh, like change dialogue a little bit and stuff. It's, it's really rad. There's there's like there's an insane amount of depth in this game. It's pretty crazy. Also, I'd like to point out that there's this huge like mining pit underneath the colony on a cliff edge. Pretty sure they would have mined themselves into oblivion by now. They would have just dug through the bottom or like uh, freaking like just completely disabled the support and just whoosh, down they go I would not want to live there under, on top of a mine on the cliff edge you know Let's 
Treasies, treasies, la 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 la. Bada bum bow down. Quick premise of the game. Yeah, long, long ago, there were two giants, two titans of, of the world. There was nothing else. Just the Bionis and the Mechanis, and they were locked in an, e an eternal struggle. Until one day, they both defeated each other at the, at the same time, and they, their corpses remained idle for millennia. As time passed, life began to grow on the Bionis, and then the game starts, and you, you are on the Bionis. It's so massive that it, it is literally the world that you live on. Like right now, I'm on the Bionis' thigh. It's it's just a, it's just an entire world on its thigh. Hang in there. Don't give up. And that's the premise of the, that's where the story starts. But the Mechonis are the the the, the, the Mechons. <clears throat> the Mechons, these things, these machines, they're creatures of the Mechonis and they try to kill us. They're trying to they're trying to eradicate us for reasons we don't understand. And so that's the that's the, the the threat is the mechon. The mechon that come from the mechonis are trying to destroy humans. And there you go. That's the start of the story and the plot. This is the Monado's power. The bionis are basically organic beings, yeah. As far as you can tell, anyway. Do this. Now it's right time. Oh, See you later, nerd. Twelve thousand. We win. We make a great oh, team. Let's not lose our heads. It's, it's honestly a super rad world. It's got fantastic world building. It's really unique, uh, like placement of the world. You know, kind of like Xenoblade Chronicles Two has a really unique world that you that you exist on. It's just really awesome. Like it's it's very very original and unique and unique and special, and it, and it presents all this different kind of world war that you just cannot have without this being the world that you live on. You know what I mean? Like if you're just on a planet, planet's gonna planet. You know? Like but things change when you're like on the corpse of a of a former living, you know, god. I guess you could say. I think that's the elevator I need. Is that one over there? I think. Yeah, I use it to get across. And okay, I see. I see what I need to do. So yeah, that's like completely spoiler-free premise of the story without giving away anything whatsoever, and it, it's it's completely like understandable. You know, like oh okay, I understand. I will I will decide if I want to play this game now. You know. Duality of worlds is, is is definitely a common like plot element for sure. You know, these guys versus those guys, this world versus that world, shadow versus dark, or sure, shadow versus dark, shadow light versus dark. 
Uh, and that's very much a, a common theme amongst just about any game, you know? Evil versus good. Uh, but the whole, like, this is a world and a complete world and that's a complete world and they're, you know, against each other. That's definitely a, a less common but definitely used storytelling uh, me mechanism. I'm evil, but why? Why am I evil? Hey, what's up? Hooker Battle 64 did say I was evil because I didn't I didn't talk to the peasants after I saved their lives. You know? But you didn't say that you get you didn't give me brownies after you saved me. How evil can you be? Sorry we didn't have casual conversations after I saved your life from evil and death. <laughs> It's a lot of things like that, but I didn't use evil aligned units. I used like angels and stuff. Let's see if I can sneak by through here. Is Earth Ether just Earther? Feathery bastard. <laughs> oh no, it's a feathery bastard! Yeah, basically Ogre Battle 64 is read a guide and then you can play the game the way you want to. Which is unfortunate, I hate that design. As much as I love Ogre Battle style of gameplay, that was that was not a uh, super well designed game. It was very very hard to understand. I personally loved it, but it's really hard for people to enjoy something like that. And a game should never be read a guide so you can play the game. It should never be like that. Cough cough vagrant story. No, no, pigeons are literally shit demons, okay? Those, those are not, there's nothing redeeming about pigeons. Everyone, let's go! Let me out. I don't want anyone dying out there. Come on! We can definitely do this! Right, you Bring it on! The the fact that like just attacking different types of enemies or like lower level enemies and stuff than you like making your alignment change and just there was so much just uh, why kind of stuff in that game you know what I mean just it it, it, it so made it impossible to play Don't even when you knew what you were doing. Perfect for a trade attack. <laughs> we win! Who else 
what's some. We make a great team. There you go, Greg. Yeah, see, now you're talking. Now you, now you know what's up. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh. Not sure how I got that buff. Probably because of, like, uh, hitting the little B icon thingy. <laughs> It's always Rhine time, Tagraneth. Always. Orange Rhine, Lemon Rhine, you name it. Well, this is interesting. I don't think I'm supposed to go along the edge there. Oh, I see, I see, I see it. Uh, I'm not a super big fan of how this world is designed, this little map. Because it's like, it's basically like, I'm taking an elevator down to a literal impossible to navigate area. Like no one's gonna get on that thing to like go to where they need to go. But an elevator leads down to it for whatever reason, you know. Right, let's do this. I don't want anyone dying out there. Let me at him. Do I know what a Xenoblade is? So Xeno just means strange or alien, and I'm wielding a blade that I don't understand. So that is the Xenoblade, the Monado. So like Xenomorph, like in Aliens, the, the movie Alien or Aliens, Xenomorph, just refers to the alien, Xeno being unknown morphology. You know, it's an unknown creature. We don't understand it. Xenophobe is, a, is a, someone that's afraid of the unknown. Don't let a single one escape. We can definitely do this. I'm turning up the hate. You're really getting into this Yes, 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 I know. Good night. Man, 
What a bunch of jokers. We make a what great a team. bunch of jokers. Ryan, freaking, you're such a dork. I love you. Uh... Let's go over to the far side, because I think, I'm pretty sure this leads down to the, to the end. Let's take a look, just in case. Magnus Archive? What's that? Is that an anime? <laughs> Podcasty thing. What's it talk about? I'm, I'm curious. I've never heard of this, but you're Craig as I mean it. Although I will say I'm not very big on podcasts. I, I don't know what it is. I just can't sit there and like listen to people talk without something going on. Dada, I hope you can see me. I think this just leads back up. Yeah, it's like it's like after the story, then you would go up here. Okay. Da da dum dum dum. Which means I have to. Oh no, do I have a shortcut back down there? Nope. I have, to, <laughs> I have to ride this dumb thing all the way around now. Long running cosmic horror narrative. Oh, so it's like a, sto it's like a story. That's cool. Okay, so it's like those old timey radio shows. Except the podcast now. Back in the back in like the fifties or whatever, before TV was a thing, uh, the radio was like your entertainment. You would actually get like people to, to like they would they would tell stories over the radio, you know, like mystery murders or stuff like that. That was like a really common thing. That's cool. I didn't know that kind of stuff still existed. That's that's actually really rad. been here for so long that the ice respawned. Ah. 20 minutes in length. Huh. Oh, that's really cool. I, I, it's not my cup of tea. I, I need I need visual stimuli, stimuli, stimulation, whatever, engagement. I, I gotta have visuals, man. That's why I prefer, I mean, I have an imagination. I used to read all the time and I, I do enjoy reading. And But the thing is, is like, I realized I like movies better, you know what I mean? So it's like, why would I read a book when I have tons of movies and TV shows that I could watch that I all have interest in, you know? It's not that I don't enjoy reading, it's that I prefer having like a visual storytelling. That's one of the reasons why I like games. They're so engaging from a number of perspectives. It's not just you're playing a game. There's visual <laughs> storytelling and, and engagement. There's audio engagement with, you know, uh, sound, music, sound effects banter and then there's actual physical engagement through the use of gameplay so all of your senses are being titulated i guess you could say 
and uh, I really love that, except for sense, I guess. But you're being engaged in a number of ways, and I really just love that about games. There's so much depth to it. There's more than just a video game. There's so much. All right, we're gonna go into the mine and 